All right, everyone, this is an article that many people have been sending me, actually. Now, over the last few hours, I think four different people have messaged me with this, and it's all over, like, 4chan and stuff. And if you only read the title, and proving one of the points that I've perennially made, then you're getting a totally different look at reality than what the real reality is. That's evidence of propaganda. It's clickbait. Unfortunately, also, the situation proves exactly what the individual area de Mezzo, which is the subject of this uh, actual story, uh, is saying and, and the whole purpose of, of this article. So I'm, I'm going to read a little bit to you. And it's a little bit dense and complex because it's these two intertwined sort of points that are completely objectively proven. Hell of a candidate. Link in the description, by the way, archived, of course. You can read along. It's, you can have one of those little bouncing ball read-along things. Hell of a candidate. Transsexual Satanist anarchist whose slogan is fuck the police wins GOP nomination for New Hampshire County Sheriff. Now, if you're like half the population, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, if you just read this title, or even the tagline, which I'll read in a second, you th you're thinking a reality in your head that's not actual reality. Aria DeMezzo, a transsexual Satanist anarchist, has nabbed the Republican nomination in the sheriff's race of a New Hampshire county while running with the campaign slogan, Fuck the Police. Now, at this point, something like 75-80% of all readers are done with the article. In their minds, a transsexual devil worshipper, which I'll get into that, I'll get into a little bit about Satanism as well for the benefit of people that are uh, don't understand, they think now that I guess a devil worshipper has taken the GOP uh, uh, position in, in a significant New Hampshire race. Now, the real story, if you look into it, was that it's absurdism. This is like when Jello Biafra ran for a city council or mayor or something out in, I can't remember, Seattle or some shit like that, or San Francisco, and ran on a platform of wanting to turn derelict buildings into hotels for the homeless. It's absurdism. The fact is that the whole point was that in a race where there's, there was no Republican candidate, the, the normal Republican candidate stood down, so it's basically the incumbent was unopposed. DeMezzo said, well, this is a great idea. Uh, I'm, I'm going to run as a Republican, uncontested, and people will vote for me. I'll end up becoming the Republican nominee. The, none of these people would cast a ballot for me at all, except that they'll see my name and the R after my name, and they'll vote for me because they're partisan shills. And, of course, thousands of people did, and now a transsexual Satanist is, <laughs> of course, uh, the GOP candidate in that race. The whole idea is to lampoon low-info voters. Totally proves DeMezzo's point. It's not a serious campaign, although, you know, potentially based on some of what this person is saying, they might be a better candidate. Uh, openly, apparently a libertarian, so this is actually like an ANCAP individual arguing against uh, prosecuting victimless crimes. That I can get behind. I, I don't agree with the, the Trump part because, of course, I say Trump, while not a libertarian, has some views that approximate it, or at least are more populistic. It's a, it's a far differential from the globalism we've been seeing. And DeMezzo is technically correct, by the way. There were a lot of people that voted for or, by the way, and this is left out here, it's basically against Donald Trump based on the belief that he was like a white nationalist. There were people that voted for him thinking that he was secretly like a Hitler worshipper. There were a lot of people who fear him because they think he's secretly a Hitler worshipper. He's clearly not. He's about incremental populistic change. He's really more of a 90s dem than anything that wants to throttle back the tax rate. Um, not not, not a, a particularly vicious character. But there are millions of people that voted for him not knowing what he stood for. Most of the people that'll vote for Biden or Trump in this election are only going to vote for them because of the letter after their name, not because of any policy proposals they make. Ask the average voter, who are you voting for? Then ask them why. Name three reasons why you support this person. Name three reasons you support Joe Biden. Uh, well, Trump is racist. Uh, he's a Democrat. Uh, I don't know. He's Joe Biden. That's what you'll get. That totally fucking proves the point. The messages that I've gotten, and, and, and no offense to, to people that are showing this to me, some of you are just like chuckling about it because you're sort of in the know. It also proves my point. The point that I've made now for years is that the average person in regards to legacy media uh, pulp fiction bullshit, uh, tabloid press style stuff, they only read the title and the tagline. The biggest lies ever told are by omission. They're not technically a lie at all. It's a lie by structure. When you have an article, Say it's five paragraphs long. The last four paragraphs, virtually nobody will ever read. 
they, they don't have the attention span, they don't have the time, they don't have the device capable of interacting with the page enough, and they just fucking rage quit. All you have to do is put what you want the public to digest in the title, and the, the subtitle, and then the first paragraph, and 90% of the people will only ever see that. You can then contravene your own initial statements, but which you've structured very carefully, with, without technically lying at all. There's no, there's no dirty black lies, only little white ones. You then hide the truth in, in paragraphs 4 and 5. Nobody's gonna fucking see that, except for the highest info individuals, which, by the way, those individuals, they fact check and therefore they are slower to respond. This is why counter propaganda is difficult because the people that are actually going to attempt to try to counter the propaganda take 10 times as long to push things out because they don't rush things. They're not looking for ways to lie by omission. It's not happening. So congratulations to Demezzo. You've got the GOP nomination with thousands of votes, albeit running unopposed in this reasonably small New Hampshire County. This is a problem within politics. This is, and by the way, this is not some evil satanic takeover of, of the GOP. Again, there are people right now posting on 4chan as though this is like an own the lib situation. The conservatives have sold out. Now they allow devil worshippers and stuff. This was an uncontested race. And this is an absurdist campaign designed to lampoon individuals specifically like you who are incapable of reading an article or looking into the platform of a candidate before fucking casting a ballot for them. Demezzo did a good job. Congratulations on your nomination. I think it's great. By the way, let me just say, when you look at articles talking about Satanism, there's always the insinuation of devil worship. This particular satanic group, like virtually all others, is an atheistic organization of absurdist libertarians. The satanic temple is the same way. When they put up their Moloch statue, do you think that they were doing that for a legitimate religious reason? No, they were lampooning Christians who were very, very hot under the collar about any god appearing alongside theirs at a fucking courthouse. That's all it was ever about. It's not about devil worship. It's about mocking people. It's about mocking uh, inconsistencies in policing, inconsistencies in civil liberties, inconsistencies in civic society, and that's what this does. It's great. You, 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 trust me. You could make like a, an, an alt media group, something like a, just a website or something, and you could very, very easily and very, very deliberately lie by omission and structure on all of the articles and totally melt people's minds, and they wouldn't even know it. The people calling them out would get called conspiracy theorists. Again, this proves, this proves DeMezzo's point, it proves my point, it proves the systemic problem with our particular civic society, which is people no longer take the time to know anything about the candidates. They don't know, they didn't know what DeMezzo stood for. None of these people knew that the literal campaign slogan was, fuck the police. Do you think the average person, especially a Republican, would cast a ballot for a person with that kind of slogan running for sheriff? The whole fucking point is to mock the political system. I don't necessarily agree with the Ancapistan style views here with regards to certain things, although I definitely agree on the stupidity of many voters. I'm just going to use the term that fits most appropriately, no offense to any of you if you're partisan, but some of you will vote for people that don't know, you don't know anything about them, Democrat or Republican. There are libertarians that do this. The average libertarian registered will vote for Joe Jorgensen without realizing that Joe Jorgensen has completely deviated from libertarianism. Still will probably get many hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of votes from people that literally they just see the L after the name and cast a goddamn ballot. You don't even know what you're voting for. And it's dangerous. It's one of the, the, the flaws of a, of a representative system of government is if the population is unknowingly voting for something stupid because they fall into partisan camps. Literally warned against by George Washington and other founders, don't ever have political parties. It's a fucking terrible idea. Abso goddamn lutely it is. You should vote based solely on the person's principles. Therefore, when I repeatedly approach people, I, I, I can approach many Trump fans, and while they say, well, yeah, of course, I agree with you, Sticks, I like Trump, they can't even name many things that he's done. They can't, certainly can't delve into the minutia. They'll say, well, he supports a wall. How much of the wall is done? How much is retrofitted? What's its form? You don't know anything about it. Without further information, how can you possibly make a determination to vote for or against a person if you don't know anything about them? I'm voting for Joe Biden. Why? Well, because his opponent is a racist. Really? Give me a few examples of his so-called racism. You're not going to find any, dude. You've been spoon-fed it by the legacy media. You think that he's like the next Hitler. You don't know anything about the fucker. 
It's a, a perfect uh, example of absurdism. So again, congratulations to DeMezzo for melting down uh, literally, it seems, many millions of people that are up in arms right now without reading the goddamn fucking articles about the fucking story. Thus proving my point, as always. That's about all. Peace out.